Are you ready to enter the vast expanse of the cosmos and explore the future of satellite internet technology? Look no further than Starlink, the innovative company founded by Elon Musk. With the mission of providing high-speed internet access to even the most remote parts of the globe, Starlink is revolutionizing the way we connect with the world. But the road to success has not been without its challenges. From the complexities of launching satellites into space to navigating the regulatory landscape, Starlink has had to overcome numerous obstacles to realize its vision. And yet, despite these hurdles, the company has made remarkable strides in a short amount of time, already serving tens of thousands of customers across multiple continents. As we look to the future, the potential impact of Starlink's technology is truly staggering. From empowering rural communities and revolutionizing the way we communicate with each other, to enabling new possibilities in fields like healthcare and education, the possibilities are endless. So buckle up and get ready to explore the history, benefits, challenges, and future of this exciting and visionary company. But before we go ahead, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. Starlink is a project by SpaceX, Musk's rocket company, that aims to provide high-speed broadband internet access to anyone on Earth using a constellation of thousands of small satellites in low Earth orbit. The history of Starlink goes back to 1998 when Elon Musk set up SpaceX, his rocket company. He had a vision of colonizing Mars and making humanity a multi-planetary species. To fund his ambitious plans, he needed a profitable business that could generate revenue from space activities. He came up with the idea of Starlink, a satellite internet service that could provide high-speed broadband access to anyone on Earth using a constellation of thousands of small satellites in low Earth orbit. He first made Starlink public in January 2015 when he opened the SpaceX Satellite Development Center in Redmond, Washington. Starlink is now one of the largest satellite operators in the world, with over 3,580 satellites in orbit as of February 2023. It offers internet service in 50 countries worldwide, with plans to expand to more regions and provide global mobile phone service after 2023. It has attracted more than 1 million customers who pay $99 per month for unlimited data, plus a $499 upfront cost for the equipment. It has also received contracts from governments and organizations such as NASA, the U.S. military, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and more. Starlink has helped increase the value of SpaceX stock, which is estimated to be worth over $100 billion as of December 2022. But why do we need Starlink? And what are its benefits and challenges? And what are its future plans? According to SpaceX, there are still many places around the world that have poor or no internet connectivity at all. Starlink wants to change that by offering fast and reliable internet service that can reach even remote and rural areas. Starlink claims that its satellites have low latency and high bandwidth, meaning they can transmit data faster and more efficiently than traditional satellites that orbit much higher. This could enable applications such as online gaming, video conferencing, telemedicine, and more. Starlink also says that its service is affordable and easy to set up. Users only need a Starlink dish antenna and a Wi-Fi router to connect to the satellites. The dish can automatically adjust its position to find the best signal. However, Starlink also faces some challenges and criticisms. One of them is the potential impact on astronomy and space debris. Some astronomers have complained that Starlink satellites are too bright and interfere with their observations of the night sky. They worry that as more satellites are launched, they will create more light pollution and hinder scientific research. Another concern is that Starlink satellites could increase the risk of collisions with other spacecraft or debris in orbit. This could create more debris and make space activities more dangerous. SpaceX has tried to address these issues by making some of its satellites darker, adding sunshades, adjusting their orbits, or de them when they are no longer needed. But some experts say these measures are not enough and call for more regulation and coordination among satellite operators. So what are Starlink's future plans? Well, according to SpaceX's filings with federal regulators, Starlink is developing a second generation of satellites that will be larger, faster, smarter, cheaper, safer, greener than their predecessors. These new satellites will have improved capabilities such as inter-satellite links for better coverage, laser communications for lower latency, solar arrays for higher power, ion thrusters for maneuverability, shielding for protection, biodegradable materials for sustainability. SpaceX plans to launch up to 30,000 of these new satellites over time using its next-generation rocket called Starship, which can carry 400 satellites at once. 
SpaceX also hopes to expand its service beyond Earth by providing internet access to Mars colonists using a similar network of satellites around the Red Planet. Sounds amazing, right? But will it work? And will it be worth it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.